All right, so today we're going to look at a center grinder. Uh, this is uh, a specialized machine uh, for grinding and correcting errors in uh, centers on parts uh, before they go into the grinding operation. Uh, for very high precision stuff, uh, you want to make sure that your centers are concentric on both sides of the part and that they are uh, you know, in there properly. Uh, sometimes they're done on a lathe and they're not as accurate as when they're done on a machine like this. Now this is not to be confused with a center lapping machine. Um, this is not lapping, this is actually grinding. It has a grinding wheel here that has uh, three different motions when it's going. It has this uh, just spinning like it is now, like a milling machine or a drill, uh, but it also has a planetary uh, motion, kind of like a, uh, a jig grinder. So you've got the, the, the turning and the, and the planetary so that that small stone can do a larger size center. And you also have a reciprocation where this is going up and down. <clears throat> the amount that it goes up and down is adjustable. Uh, there's a sliding uh, scale up here that you adjust. The machine is currently wired for uh, 220 volts. You also have an oil mist that goes up here and sprays uh, the mechanisms. You have a dresser that's mounted right on the grinder. Now right now I have this running uh, in the dress mode. This is a selector switch for dressing and grinding. So in dressing we don't want any of the up and down or any of the planetary stuff. We just want the wheel to spin. And if you can come over here with the camera and focus on the diamond and the wheel, you see that as I turn this and it goes down, it does this little jiggle. Well, that's purposely done like that. Now to get in closer, you've got to uh, turn this in to get into your diamond. I just want to stay away from it. But this is what you would do as you go down and dress that 60 degree grinding stone. But that wobble is part of the the secret of this machine. Now when you're not using the dresser, you can kick this up out of the way. Now if I go into the grinding mode, now we get our up and down or a reciprocation and we also get the planetary movement. This here is an option. It's used for locating your center. It swings down underneath there and helps you easily get um, your center is located. Now, the rest of the machine here, you got your tail stock, which can be given uh, a go up and down here as you turn this hand wheel. You can raise and lower this. And you've got this guiding system here that clamps the part. Uh, this will automatically, this is all set up so that as you open and close this, they move together and you'll always have the part held concentric and the center's in the right spot. Um, and this is a way to quickly swing this down and check that they're in the right spot. So once you've got your part in there, now this whole thing, this whole head goes up and down. And once you get close to where you want to be, then you lock it down in the center here. And then you come close, you come down with your fine feed to actually do your grinding, your center grinding. Uh, the actual dimensions that you can uh, I believe you can do a 60 degree center all the way up to 2 inches in diameter, but you're going to have to check our website on the quotation for all the specifications for diameter and for the length of the workpiece. Uh, right now the noise that you hear is, uh, if we come over here with the camera, is this little metal uh, idler pulley. Well, we wanted to get this video done, but I, I do have a bearing on order for this. So when we have this bearing replaced, the machine is going to be a lot quieter. Um, it's a small bearing and it's constantly spinning, so it wears out before anything else. All right, I hope that uh, answers all your questions. Uh, thank you very much.